There's no question, a NASA launch is an amazing testament to human ingenuity. But where did the space shuttle come from, and how does it work? The shuttle isn't the product of any single inventor. Instead, it represents decades of research by hundreds of engineers, scientists, and other experts. When most people think of the hmm. space shuttle, they're thinking of the NASA orbiter. But the actual shuttle is composed of several components. Two solid rocket boosters, one external fuel tank, and the orbiter itself. What's with the extra rockets and all the fuel? Well, the shuttle weighs about 4.5 million pounds, and the orbiter's three engines alone aren't powerful enough to launch. In fact, the orbiter's engines only supply 29% of the necessary thrust. The rocket boosters provide the rest. During launch, the external tank is jettisoned and the boosters separate from the orbiter, which is the only part of the shuttle that actually makes it into orbit. The last space shuttle mission ended when the Atlantis returned to the Kennedy Space Center on July 11, 2011. But this doesn't mean NASA is done. Far from it. Although the space shuttle missions have ended, NASA continues to work with private and state organizations across the world, forging a path into space for future generations, and always staying true to their motto, per aspera ad astra, through hardship to the stars.